At Westminster, at least on the surface, not much is happening. Under the surface, well, more of that later in the show. But in the wider world, it's been a very big day. In Ukraine, I'm sorry to say, the Russian army seems to be doing much better. The Ukrainian President Zelensky has been pleading with the leaders of the G7 group of industrialised democracies for more weapons, telling them that they're gathering in Germany that he wants this war over before the end of the year when winter sets in. As Russia refuses to release Ukrainian grain, the World Food Programme says that more than 345 million people around the world are facing acute levels of food insecurity, raising the imminent threat of famines. Now, that all puts our little local difficulty as to whether Boris Johnson can continue to lead the Conservative Party into perspective. But after those two pulverising defeats for the Tories in last week's by-elections and Johnson's cheerful assertion that he was actively considering a third term which would keep him in power until the mid-2030s, not perhaps the most tactful idea to float in these circumstances, Westminster, under the surface, is again a bubbling cauldron of gossip and plotting. You don't want to hear about that. Oh, yes, you do. At any rate, you're going to. In today's show, I'll be discussing the war with a former Ukrainian prime minister, a defence expert and the chair of the Commons Defence Committee, Tobias Elwood. We will then go on to hear how another Commons Committee, the Privileges Committee, may get Johnson finally this autumn. All of that, plus a Lib Dem voice, an unexpected one, perhaps, the television presenter and Baroness Fluella Benjamin. Plus why, more than 60 years after they were formed, the Beatles remain Britain's favourite band. Now, if you have any questions you'd like me to ask Fluella Benjamin, or indeed any comments on anything else we're discussing in the show, maybe you can tell me why you love the Beatles or why you can't stand them. Either way, please do get in touch by emailing ma at lbc.co.uk or by texting 84850. But before all of that, let's turn to our Westminster editor, Ben Kendish. 